everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a registered dental hygienist here to talk about a hidden culprit behind many dental issues, sleep apnea. You might be surprised to learn how this sleep disorder can wreak havoc on your teeth and gums. So let's talk about the signs, the connection between sleep apnea and oral health and what you can do about it. So sleep apnea doesn't just disrupt your sleep. It leaves telltale signs in your mouth, such as teeth grinding or clenching, also known as bruxism. Many people with sleep apnea also grind their teeth at night, leading to worn enamel, tooth sensitivity, and even tooth chipping and fractures. Also mouth breathing. When you have sleep apnea, oftentimes you rely on your mouth to breathe during sleep instead of your nose, which can cause dry mouth, increase the risk of cavities, gum disease, and bad breath. And lastly, gasping or choking during sleep, snoring, and or having a poor night's sleep almost every day, meaning you're always waking up tired even when you get enough hours of sleep. So for the gasping or choking, it can indicate obstructed airways, a hallmark of sleep apnea. As for snoring, it doesn't mean you for sure have sleep apnea, but a large percentage of people who snore also have sleep apnea. Many people stick to routine teeth cleanings twice a year, but may not visit their doctor for annual physicals. That's why in many cases, your dental provider might be the first to notice signs of sleep apnea and suggest seeing a doctor for a sleep study. During routine dental exams, we can identify indicators like tooth wear from grinding, dry mouth, or even changes in the appearance of the back of your throat. If these signs point to sleep apnea, your dentist and or dental hygienist may recommend you go to the doctor and ask your doctor for a sleep study to confirm the diagnosis. That said, in the dental field, we are not sleep apnea specialists, right? If we don't catch it, that doesn't necessarily mean you don't have it. But if we do notice something concerning, it's definitely worth getting checked out. If your dental provider mentions it to you, be sure to mention it to your primary care provider, your doctor at your next annual exam, for they can provide a referral to a sleep specialist if needed. Managing sleep apnea is vital for your overall health, of course, but since this is a dental health YouTube channel, we dove into the dental side effects such as worn enamel, tooth sensitivity, tooth chipping, fractures, cavities, gum disease, bad breath, and more. And the treatments treating sleep apnea can also involve your dental health. So if you're diagnosed with sleep apnea, oftentimes treatments like continuous positive airway pressure, CPAP therapy, or other types of oral appliances are recommended to keep airways open during sleep, reducing teeth grinding and improving saliva flow. Even if you come to find out that you do not have sleep apnea, nighttime teeth grinding can still be an issue. So if you are clenching or grinding your teeth at night and you got a sleep test, a sleep study, and it says you don't have sleep apnea, it's still a good idea to wear a night guard to bed to protect your teeth from damage. Y'all know dental work isn't cheap. I'd much rather buy a new night guard every so often as opposed to buying new teeth, crowns, fillings, expensive dental work. So if you're clenching or grinding your teeth, ask your dentist if they think a custom fitting night guard would be best for you, or if they think Think it's okay for you to try an over-the-counter night guard. I will link some over-the-counter night guard options in the description box below. In conclusion, sleep apnea can silently damage your teeth and gums, so recognizing the signs and seeking appropriate treatment can safeguard your dental health, as well as contribute to improving your overall health. Regular dental checkups are essential, as your dentist and dental hygienist can detect early indicators and guide you toward effective solutions. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share this video if you think it will help someone. And remember, a good night's sleep is not just about rest, it's about protecting your teeth too. So if you're interested in learning about more ways to protect your teeth and keep your smile healthy, be sure to check out my free oral care guide. It contains home care tutorial videos to keep your teeth healthy at home, making sure you're using proper technique when brushing, flossing, tongue scraping, and more. Click the link in the description box or in the pinned comment below to see my free oral care guide. And until next time, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.